the natural hair tea. We're gonna get right into the nitty gritty. Oh, girlies, she's like, oh, you only need watch. Get sun cancer. Please don't take this personal. Today we're back with another video. I'm doing my last video of February, my February favorites. I think I want to start doing this every month if I have favorites every month. Basically, if you're not familiar with these type of videos, I just tell you my favorite products of February, like whether it was new products, my staple products, etc. So I have this whole bin right here. Let's get into it. And yes, we have the natural hair teas, y'all. We're going to get right into the nitty gritty. The first product I'm starting off with is my A1 Feminine Wash, the VH Essentials Daily Feminine Wash. It's pH balanced, tea tree oil, prebiotic. This one does have a fragrance, but it's very light. My body is very sensitive. Skin is sensitive, like my face is sensitive, my back, my chest, my just everything everything about my skin and my body it is sensitive but even when i use this product with the fragrance it does not irritate me at all it doesn't make my ph balance worse it still does its big one but they do have an unscented version which i haven't tried that yet because i'm not done with this bottle but this is my third bottle of this exact one i have the unscented one in my closet right now ready for me to try when I finish this one. It's a clear liquid. There's no dyes, no no bullshit, y'all. There's no fucking bullshit. And it's $8. Eight fucking dollars. Yes. And like for the girlies who's like, oh, you only need water. You only need water. In the back, it's dirty, but please, please chill. In the back, it says, use only as directed for external use only. Everyone who's educated about feminine washes knows that you don't put it in your finger and shove it up your vagina. Like, no. It's for external use only. Your vagina, which is the hole, the inside, that is self-cleaning, okay? We all know that for you water girlies. The vulva, which is the outside, is not self-cleaning. Just like your armpit is not self-cleaning. Your butt is not self-cleaning. Like, the outside does not clean itself. You know what I'm saying? So you got to clean it and i will recommend this next thing the next one we have are these dove spray deodorants these are new products i've been trying and i really really like them my armpits they're the type of armpits that if you use the same deodorant over and over it's just going to stop working all of a sudden so this is what i'm on to right now and it's doing its big one these are like really big containers and i'm not gonna lie i actually don't have deodorant on right now so i'll spray it right now this is the invisible dry my favorite one they're pretty um abrasive like they go right in for the punch but they smell really good especially this one this one smells super fucking good we have the original one also smells good i also have the pomegranate one phenomenal and i just seen a video of a girl putting on stick deodorant and then she uses a spray on top i do think i'm gonna start doing that at least like an anti-presperant because I work in a warehouse. I feel like I say this every video, but like I work in a warehouse, so I sweat a lot at work. I don't think the spray deodorants last that long when you're sweating all the time. Like I don't think they keep the sweat in like how an antiperspirant or a stick deodorant would. But when I'm lifting my hand, doing the work, I'm constantly smelling it, smelling it, smelling it. So I will say with vigorous work, I do have to reapply, but on a regular day, these last all day. Next thing we have on the docket, if you know where that's from, I fuck with you. But this is the Method Body Peony Rosewater Pink Salt Lotion. I guess it's called Pure Peace. Not only does this lotion smell amazing. First of all, my first, my favorite scents are rose. Like that's my, that's my, I love a floral scent. Yes. Yes. Clean, fresh rose. Like the, it gives exactly that. Like the rose water, the peony, yes. And that pink sea salt, it kind of offers that super clean smell. I've really grown to love this Method Body Wash. This is my first ever Method hiking product I've ever tried. And when I tell you, it smells good. The smell lasts 100%. And I can say that with my chest because it lasts because when you put the lotion on, it's super thick. I don't know it just stays on your body like it it takes a lot to rub in like it's not a little squeeze it done like you have to be rubbing that in 
because that's how like thick and moisturizing the lotion is but i love that because the smell lasts it literally lasts and then even though it's oh my god i just realized it says plant-based period even though it's thick it's not oily it's not greasy like they did their big one with this formula like i know why the girlies love method i haven't tried the body wash not gonna lie but as far as the lotions and this one specifically i'm in love next we're gonna switch it up to skincare this is the neutrogena clear face breakout free oil free sunscreen spf 30. i did not used to wear a sunscreen i feel like i started wearing sunscreen probably freshman year of high school so i've been doing pretty good but please black people people of color melanin people wear sunscreen like i know you're not gonna get sunburnt but you can still get sun cancer you get what i'm saying like yeah 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 make sure you run your sunscreen and also because if you have hyperpigmentation i feel like oh i put makeup on but y'all can see it a little bit more um, it used to be way worse than this. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know that this isn't terrible, but I really struggled with hyperpigmentation growing up. So that's why I even got into sunscreen because you can't be trying to lighten your dark spots and then going in the sun and they're just getting right back darker. When you're black and you have a lot of melanin and you get in the sun, you get darker. We all know that. So that's the same thing that's going to happen to your dark spots. Like, they're getting darker the more you don't put on sunscreen. Also... When you get older and everyone is having wrinkles and having sun damage and sunspots, you're not going to be having that. You're going to be looking just like this at 45, like just like that. So <laughs> sunscreen has a lot of benefits, honestly. So you should definitely be wearing sunscreen. Even if you're in the house, even if you don't go out that day, wear fucking sunscreen because you, I, you, you, I know you're in that phone. I know you're in that phone. I know you're on that laptop. Like, I just know. And they emit UV rays that basically does the same thing as the sun. Causes the same damage as the sun with wrinkles and all that type of stuff. So make sure you wear sunscreen. And as a black woman, this one does not leave me looking white-faced. It does not leave me looking purple. Like, it just blends in the way it's supposed to. It's not so thick. It's very lightweight, so you don't feel greasy like this they did their thing and this is like nine bucks like eight dollars and some change it's worth it y'all and you only need a little bit i only i don't like squeeze a whole bunch and no you only need a little bit and it goes a long Next. way uh we have this what copari is that the brand copari i don't fucking know i just know i saw this on tiktok and the girly said that it would smell did i see this on tiktok I don't think this is the vanilla lotion I saw on TikTok. I think I just saw this on Amazon because I was looking at a different vanilla lotion that I saw on TikTok. But anyways, I'm so glad I decided like, let me just try this because this smells amazing. This is Tahitian vanilla hydrating body milk with shea butter. Yes, yes, yes. I love it. Let me smell it. Let's take a smell. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> I love having to like refresh myself with the scent so I can try to describe it to y'all in the best way. But one, the lotion is not super thick and oily. And the smell, I don't know. I'm not gonna say the smell lasts, to be honest. Like this method lotion, this fucking lasts. If they made a vanilla one for method, I would be all over that for sure. But this one, it just smells really good. I do think like if you want to smell like this all day, all night, you might have to reapply. But the smell itself is beautiful. It's amazing. And it goes perfectly with all other vanilla perfumes, obviously. I will say it's more on the sweet side of vanilla. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more sweet vanilla than like a warm grown vanilla. But it doesn't, it's not like a sugary smell. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just sweet. It's just simple and sweet. A sweet vanilla smell with not too much extra shit going Next, on. we have another lotion. So this is our third lotion. <laughs> I love lotion, obviously. I love lotion perfumes. I love hygiene in general. Obviously, that's why I make videos like this. But anyway, this is a body butter and it smells like cocoa butter. I love the Vaseline cocoa butter smell. I fucking love that. Yes, actually, it smells sweeter. That's really what I like about the cocoa butter smell from Vaseline, that it smells like a sweet cocoa butter. Like the Palmer's cocoa butter smells like cocoa butter. Like exactly what you think cocoa butter would smell like, the Palmer's one smells like that. The Vaseline cocoa butters, because I have the lotion for Vaseline, like the bottle, and I also have the gel. 
it's like a sweeter cocoa butter i just love it i love mixing these smells with like my almond smells or my vanilla smells because they complement each other so well that's another thing girls just because the smell isn't like oh this is a vanilla perfume this is a vanilla lotion it doesn't have to be like that to go if it's like in the same scent the same scent range like warm or sweet it's gonna go okay mix and match your scent i promise you anyway what's special about this body butter is that one it's a butter so it's thicker way more moisturizing but it's illuminating it looks like a regular butter but when you put it on your black skin you just look shining gold like when i have a photo shoot or going to the beach or something this is definitely what i would put on along with the gel because you're just going to be shining shimmering beautiful let me read you all the back because the back is actually really beautiful vaseline co-created with black women in the spotlight from beauty sports and the arts to eliminate your glowing radiant skin with a fragrance that says i've arrived okay we're down to the last thing i don't know if i've been talking fast recently i realized like when i'm editing i be talking really fast sometimes um hopefully i've been doing that down to the last thing oh you see my ring light reflection okay these are body restore collector's edition 30 shower steamers i bet y'all was not expecting me to say some fucking shower steamers but let me tell you this is not even open this is my second box my man had bought me both boxes i like when he gave me shower steamers i was like because it was a gift i was like bro this is such the basic like oh man buys girl gift <laughs> type shit you know but i slept on him because listen these shower steamers changed my shower like aroma and environment for the better Ooh, i can smell all of them just by opening it look okay i'm not really um advertising this specific product so we're actually gonna close that back up but shower steamers in general like they just changed my whole world when i'm in the shower it just depends on what you you know what you what you need at that moment if i'm taking a shower before bed i'm using lavender hell yeah but if i'm so tired and i have to go to work i'm gonna use one of these citrus smells because if you don't know citrus supposedly like wakes you up and gives you energized and stuff so yeah and then another reason why i use these is because not only does it change my aroma it changes my mood it just makes me feel like i'm in a spa every day when i take a shower when i use that nair well, I use magic powder, so if you know, you know, but I'm going to say Nair because that's like the more general name. If you use Nair, you know that she stinks. You know it fucking stinks. It's terrible. So I put one of these down in the shower, and when I use a Nair, it really masks the smell while I'm in there. Love it. It's perfect for that. And yes, like these just are really a vibe in my shower and make me super happy and calm and they do what they need to do that's all i have to say they do what they need to do let me know what are your february favorites of beauty hygiene skincare whatever it is if you like the video give it a like if you like me subscribe i love you make sure you go watch my last video and leave a like leaving a like really 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 helps i really appreciate the people who take the time to like my video and to comment and who read the description and just thank you so much y'all